So yesterday someone on my Patreon sent me a link to this video here. It's called This Tiny Ableton Rack is Absurdly Powerful. It's about face cancellation and using face cancellation to create delta signals or let certain signals pass uh, based on frequency. And it's very well explained in this video. So I put you a link to this here in the description below so you can watch it if you want to. There's also a link here to this Gumroad if you want to buy actually or download these uh, racks. So I want to explain how this works inside of Bitwig Studio. So here we have just a normal drum loop. Nothing special. And we use a chain device. In this chain device, we use an EQ plus and we use at the end here a tool device and we flip to polarity on the left and the right channel. Okay, so here in there, we have a signal that's completely face inverted compared to the dry signal. So we bring in the dry signal here, 50%. So 50% dry signal, 50% uh, wet signal, which means this signal, this wet signal in here cancels out all the cycles, so up and down in polarity, right? Cancels out uh, all the waveforms and we are left with whiteness. You can barely hear something in the background because the EQ plus more or less colors the signals already without doing anything here. So now we can bring in a change. And you get a bandpass filter because we cancel all the frequencies here and all the frequencies here completely out and remove it from the signal. But only here where we introduce a change, um, the signal is passed through the whole chain because here it's different. So this is called, I think, Delta signal uh, because it's the difference or yeah, the difference between the dry signal and the wet signal. That's what's changed inside of the chain. And we already have this in kind of a native form with the new over clipper here, where we have this delta signal. So we clip the signal and everything that's clipped here above the threshold you can hear with the delta signal, right? It's the wet signal subtracted from the dry signal. That's what's clipped away from the signal. Also, my beloved DSEQ3 device here, which is a spectral um, balancer, has something like this. There's here um, the delta monitor mode, so you can remove certain or reduce certain frequencies like these ones here and then switch on the delta signal and then you can hear all the frequencies that are ducked down by this uh, device here it's a delta signal all you have to do is more or less subtract the wet signal from the dry signal and then you get this okay so we can Put this here um, to rest and maybe add here a tool device and put this tool device into an FX layer and maybe let's call this here a dry. Duplicate this and call this wet. So in this wet layer here, we use a convolution reverb. Mix 100%. So we mix a wet signal or wet reverb here with a dry signal. Dry signal, wet signal, it's basically convolution reverb and a tool device, nothing more. So we only mix a wet signal with a dry signal. So it's nothing, nothing special actually. Then we go into an EQ here, EQ plus. And then at the end, we don't invert here this. We use instead an audio receiver. Put the audio receiver to 50%, put the tool device into the source box, and then we face invert only the audio uh, source here. And the audio source is the wet signal. Yeah, this channel, right? So we grab this chain, chain, uh, wet uh, tool out. Okay. 
So we grab inside of this layer here, this device, right? Which means we mix the dry signal with the wet signal, go into this EQ plus, and then we mix here this output of this EQ plus with the audio source, which is the wet signal, and the wet signal is phase inverted. Which means we completely remove the wet signal from this signal in general. So without the audio receiver, it sounds like this. You can clearly hear the reverb. And when we switch this on here, we remove or subtract the reverb, the wet signal from this dry and wet signal. So we are only left with the dry signal. I hope this makes sense. Let's call this flip here. So first we mix the dry and the wet signal and then we remove the wet signal from the dry and the wet signal. And then with the EQ plus we can introduce some changes at certain positions here in the frequency spectrum. And exactly at this frequency position here, um, we let the wet signal pass. So we can mix in the wet signal based on this uh, EQ setting here. Um, if you want to express it simply, it's a very complicated way of using um, a convolution reverb with the bandpass filter inside of the WetFX box here. It's actually the same. Um, it's probably more complicated to do in Ableton Live. I don't know why he did this actually, but it's more or less just a bandpass filter inside of the wet signal of the convolution reverb. But you can do this here in this very complicated way. Actually mix the wet and the dry and then go through this EQ and then subtract the wet signal. Because now we can also use all kinds of different effects in here. You can not only use convolution, you can also use, a, let's say, a, a pitch shifter here. Pitch this up or maybe two semitones, I don't know. And then you have pitch shifting only at this position here in the frequency spectrum. So you can mix or blend in um, these devices with an EQ. Um, again, this would be the same as using just a bit shifter here with a mix 50% and then after, or maybe put this in a chain and then a bandpass filter after this. But maybe you want to use the EQ with multiple EQ points here. So it's probably something you can do with a bandpass filter. Um, so, but the effect is more or less the same. Okay, so now, we can do this. Um, there's also another trick uh, he showed in this video, and this is basically panning. And he used the wet channel to go for the left channel and then face flip the left channel. Dry signal is um, panned to the right. And then we go with the wet signal to minus 6 dB. And then we grab here um, I think this should be good. Let's see how this sounds. So you can pan the signal to the left and the right side um, with this. We have the wet signal here, which is the left channel and then face invert. And then we have only the right channel here and we mix the right and the left channel face flip together, go into this EQ. And then we subtract here um, the left channel um, or face flip the left channel again and then mix it with a dry signal. And um, yeah, uh, you don't need to actually do this here, but you can, but it's only the left channel in here. I can see it's only the left channel. And then we face flip and subtract this again from this channel. And then uh, you introduce here a change and you can pan to the left and the right side. I actually wouldn't advise to do this on the master uh, because you do a lot of face, you know, flippery. Mm, so I'm not sure if you want to, to do this on the master. 
but maybe just for sound design purposes this can be interesting as i showed you before you put your all kinds of effects in the sweat channel you maybe get some interesting sounds out of it um so i want to show you how this works in bitwig i also create two uh, presets you can download in the description below completely for free so you don't know to, don't need to pay anything um the one is the, the difference thing I showed you before with the uh, reverb and with the pitch shifter. And the second one is this panning idea here, right? So you can pan on certain frequencies to the left and the right channel. So you can try it out for yourself, okay? Uh, I think that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. Leave a like. Also watch the other video. Give it a like. And uh, thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.